Very sir. Honorable Senators, I would like to uh, begin by acknowledging that I am uh, joining you from the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. His Honorable Senators, I rise today to speak briefly, and I mean briefly, uh, to Bill S-216, uh, the Effective and Accountable Charities Act. I feel a bit of deja vu right now as, as we have seen this exact bill before. I am pleased that Senator Omnivar has reintroduced it in the Senate. It is a very important tool that charities will be able to use to fulfill their goals of better communities and indeed a better world. Colleagues, as I said the last time we saw this bill, the very fact we even need it is, is one proof of the outdated, complex, and expensive rules and regulations that charities face. As has been stated, uh, the report for, this, uh, spe for the Special Committee uh, on the Charitable Sector pointed out this problem and many more. Why we continue to force charities to operate under outdated rules remains a mystery to me. This bill will provide a significant step forward in helping the charitable sector chart a new course in the delivery of its services. Bill S-216 amends the Income Tax Act to permit charities to provide their resources to a person who is not a qualified donee, provided that they take reasonable steps to ensure that these resources are used exclusively for a charitable purpose. I believe that this bill not only uh, clarifies the rules uh, around the, the use of resources, but that it also protects accountability and surely will, uh, uh, will enhance our trust in how charities will be able to operate under changes uh, proposed. All of this being said, I believe you will find that this bill has our, our support and that we are now ready for the question. Thank you, Honourable Senators. On debate, Senator Martin. Thank you, Your Honour. Uh, Honourable Senators, uh, I rise today to also speak briefly as critic for Bill S-216, formerly S-222, an act to amend the Income Tax Act use of resources, also known as the Effective and Accountable Charities Act. Our leader, Senator Don Plett, was the critic of this bill in the last parliament and commended Senator Ratna Omidvar for doing her work on this issue and for bringing this bill forward. And in this new parliamentary session, Senator Omidvar has reintroduced her Senate public bill and has already spoken uh, very clearly to the importance of this bill. And thus, I will keep my remarks brief, like uh, Senator Mercer, who was uh, the chair of the special committee of uh, the Senate, um, the committee, the special Senate committee on the charitable sector, along with Senator Omidvar, and I had a chance to serve on that committee as well. Uh, we heard firsthand from witnesses and organizations about the issues affecting charitable across Canada and our study brought to light many of the challenges faced by the charitable sector and highlighted key changes that need to be made. So this bill, S216, will do exactly that, to amend the Income Tax Act to permit charities to provide their resources to a person who is not a qualified donee, provided that they take reasonable steps to ensure those resources are used exclusively for our charitable purpose. Um, I, again, just to be brief, uh, I will just, uh, you know, quote some words from very credible witnesses that were heard at the National Finance Committee in the last parliament. Um, they said it best, as well as, of course, Senator Omidvar uh, and Senator Mercer already. Uh, Terence S. Carter, managing partner of Carter's law firm, said, quote, the amendments proposed in Bill S-222 uh, would, one, lift an unnecessary burden from Canadian charities that have been hampered far too long by antiquated income tax provisions that are out of touch and reality and international standards, and two, would replace it with a regime of resource accountability that would allow charities to work with non-qualified donees both internationally and domestically in order to more effectively achieve their charitable purposes. 
And Bruce McDonald, President and Chief Executive Officer of Imagine Canada said, this bill is another example of the need to evolve the regulatory and legislative framework in which social good takes place. This is a common sense approach to improving the ability of charities to work in meaningful partnership with non-charities in a manner that ensures both accountability and transparency. In short, I strongly support Senator Omidvar's bill and ask all honourable colleagues to approve speedy passage of this bill in our chamber so that a message can be sent to the House of Commons to bring us one step closer to bringing Canadian law governing the charitable sector into the 21st century. Finally, as Senator Plett's own words, in Senator Plett's own words, this bill is long overdue. Thank you.